So let me just tell you, this is, this is the part of vlogging that you never see. In fact, I will be honest, I never ever use lights. Um, I, or, I only ever use daylight. I don't use ring lights, but I'm having to tonight because I am doing a really, really important, not important, well, yes, important, but much awaited interview. Hello, good morning, everybody. Can you see me? I don't want to shine the light in your eyes. Gosh, it's very, 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 very early in the morning for me um, because I, I don't go to bed until late. And do you know something? I've had hardly any sleep. I'm not moaning because I do love this time of year. They're putting all the lights up across Marylebone High Street and I think they've been tying them up under my window <laughs> throughout the night. And the men you know, they've all been chatting, it was nice and happy, but I was lying here listening to it all, thinking, they're going to be here all night. And um, Dave the cabbie couldn't drop me off last night because they closed the roads whilst they're doing this. And um, so I, oh, it was no big deal, I got out at Harley Street and walked here. But um, yeah, um, so all the lights will be hung up but not turned on. I am going to be part of the turning on um, Marylebone Festival and I do hope you turn up I'll give you all the details but listen it's very early and I have set my alarm so that I can go to yoga I've not done any yoga since I came back from my Spanish retreat which was how long ago was that six weeks ago I mean it's shocking so I want to spend today because I don't have much in the diary um, I'm going to spend today like taking my body in for a service so I'm going to do some yoga, bend my body a bit. Um, and I used to walk the other side of Marylebone to my yoga class, but there is now a yoga class just downstairs from where I live. Um, it's not as good, but never mind. Um, but it's yoga, so I'm going down there. That's why I set my alarm. And then I'm going to go and have a manicure. And then I am going to do um, a face pack, a home facial. Oh. So, it's quiet out there, no rain, so I've got to take Myrtle up on the roof for a pee. <clears throat> then I'll set off. Come on, Myrtle. She's at the end of the bed. I was pretending that she didn't sleep on the bed all night, but she sleeps on the bed all night. I used to walk, do you remember, when I started vlogging, I was walking every morning across the Marylebone Road to go to yoga. Now, I go to a yoga class that's just literally below where I live. And um, it's not such a good class. I hope they're not watching this. But it means I just get out of bed. Or oh, quick, have a look and see what's on Toast's window. Oh, 
always time for a little bit of shopping. This will be my first yoga class. It's going to be like bending wood. How long have I been back? A month? Over a month. Everything's being delivered. This is what I wake up to, all the morning deliveries. Dear, look at this. Right, I'm going to start the week as I mean to go on. After a long gap, I always think, why did I stop? Why did I stop? And my dear, old 67-year-old body, talk about muscle has memory. I mean, somehow it manages to get back into, you know, a flexible position, but oh my gosh. <sighs> that was five weeks worth of stress in my neck and my back. I have to this week try to keep my flexibility in mind and body. Oh gosh, it's tricky though when the, you know, when the day starts to pile up. Hello everyone. I'm going to try and um, use today, I'm going to have a lot of work to do today, um, but I'm going to try and use it as a get myself, my body, my nails, um, my face, do my own facial a home facial, um, I always go and have a professional manicure and pedicure because it's just, it's just better and it lasts longer. Anyway, right. Oh, look who's there. <laughs> Sandra, I've just been to yoga. I could hear this. No, you think you Who's she talking to? I thought you had a secret love. Oh gosh, Sandra, those days are well and truly over. That oh. is, Sandra, you're never going to find me with a secret lover in the lift. Oh, bless you. I mean, there was a time when I was in the lift <laughs> with a lover, but not a secret lover. Oh, okay. Um, I've just been to yoga. Lovely. Oh, it was like bending wood. Oh, Sandra, oh, it's been bless. so long since well, I've been. so well, bless no, you. I, no, I look very kitted out. <laughs> um, today, I've got a lot of work to do, Sandra, but I'm going to do a, I'm going to do a take care day of, you know. Okay. <laughs> Sandra's thinking, oh God, she's ridiculous. I've watched you. Oh, did your macaroni and cheese. Oh my God. You did amazing. Actually, it was amazing. It was. Do you know who had one of them? Huh. David from the flat here. Oh, he had yeah. nothing in the flat, and I said, "I've got a spare macaroni and cheese." He loved it. Excellent. He loved it. It was the Oatly Challenge. If you don't know what I'm on about, look at last week's vlog, and it was the Oatly Challenge, it replacing was... oat, but replacing dairy with oat. It, well, it looked amazing. It, he loved it. David, and next Myrtle, door. you could see yeah, her little Myrtle's. Myrtle couldn't believe I'd turn the oven on. Oh, anyway, nice. I'm going to go and walk her. Okay. I'll see you later. God bless. Bye, Sandra. Bye. Wonderful Sandra. She never, ever stops. She's, you know, it's eight o'clock in the morning and she is already cleaning. What I love is, um, Sandra loves the brass in this building like I do. And she cleans all the brass as well. I can't keep my voice going. People are probably still asleep. Okay. Right. Oh, I know what I wanted to show you, actually. Something that I was um, advised to get when I was on retreat. She's so, you don't know what to do, what to do, what toy, where to go. This is what I wanted to show you, is this is a roller that I picked up in um, Portugal. Look at my slippers, she's been chewing my slippers. And it's really, really good. I'll just show you, you just roll it across your back like this. So you, oh my gosh, it's so lovely to roll on your, yes, well we don't need you Myrtle, thank you. So, Myrtle, <laughs> I think I'd better take you for a walk, hey? Oh, Monday morning and it all kicks off, but these are fantastic.
What do you think of this? I love this style. So this is what I'm calling my, um, I don't know, gamin French look. Um, so I'm wearing my Clergerie, these wonderful Clergerie shoes that you love. I wear them all the time, I wear them with dresses, but I love them with these cropped jeans, high waist, high waist um, jeans, just a black cashmere sweater. Um, and I find it quite, can you hear Mat Myrtle? Gosh, I nearly said Matilda again. She's, <laughs> Myrtle gets so bored with me dressing up. But anyway, I love this outfit. It's, I don't, the light's going. It's, um, it's about six o'clock and Anna is coming over because we're going to go through, yes, Myrtle, some of your, oh, sorry, hon. We're going to go through some of your training because it hasn't really been going as well as it could have been. See my old slippers in the background, destroyed by Myrtle. And Anna, you can't cheat with Anna. No, I see you're concentrating on everything I'm saying, Mert. Mert? Mert? Anna's coming. Lessons to catch up and see if you've remembered what she taught you. Well, she didn't teach you to get up on the bed, did she? That's one thing. Anyway, she's coming along and, um, yeah, I have been wearing this all day, but I thought I'd just show you <laughs> whilst I'm here. Right, I was, I was playing lovely, loud jazz in the background, but I can't do that because of the logging details, so um, we're just in silence here. But it's the most beautiful, beautiful, beautiful evening. In Marylebone. Oh, Joe! Hello, hello everybody. <laughs> um, Myrtle's now, in the sit. No, no problem. We're just hoping that Myrtle has remembered some of. And look behind Anna is Mr. Binks. Yeah, who's being a really good boy. No, I, I very good it. boy. So, what are we going to test? Well, we'll see if she can remember. Uh, sit. Good. Are we going to go? Down. Good. <gasps> Holding. Ah, 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 ah. Myrtle. Down. Myrtle. Down. Down. <laughs> the idea is, Myrtle, you hold. Stay. It. Stay. Stay. Holding. Ah, ah. Down. Intercept. Good. Down. Good. You have a down. She's not done too bad. No, that's pretty good. good. That's very good. She won't do her turns. I've tried to get her to do her turns. She won't do her turns. Yeah, so you know, turn. Yeah, you she did them as a puppy. She Look did. Look at Mr. Binks watching. Look, I know. Ready? Let's do a spin. <gasps> well done. Oh, she yeah. does them for you. Well, we're luring, we're luring. Um, Myrtle. Myrtle. You're going to touch. Yes. Good. Touch. Yes. And sit. Good. Oh. And down. Oh. Holding down. Down, ah, ah, no. good down, good down for one, ah, ah. one, two, no. and then sit, sit, <laughs> no. up, sit, okay, we love, sit, this ah, well oh, done, oh, very good, oh my gosh, oh, well oh. done, Anna, well done, <laughs> do you fancy something to eat, oh, yes, because I've got, Hello Fresh. We love Hello Fresh. Yes, and it's a very, very, very quick oh, one. Um, it's warm, isn't it? It is so warm. It's such a... Oh. Hold this, because I'm going to tell okay. people. Okay. Come in here what are we light. having? So, oh, let me turn this light on. Let me just explain to people what Hello Fresh is. So, this is perfect. Hello Fresh is perfect for me, because <laughs> um, it's a subscription food delivery service where... Let me just show you it on my phone, if I've mm. got... Um, whilst the dogs completely destroy the place. So, uh, let's just show you the, oh, if I do, the light's not very good in here. No, well, it's dark so early now. Very, very dark. So I'm going to show you the app, and then you'll see, actually, just how easy, oops, it is. But we've had HelloFresh a few times. We've it had HelloFresh a few times. So you just go into HelloFresh, into the app, like that. Mm -hmm. That's registering, and then you start. And so there are all different sections of what you can order. So there's meat, there's vegetarian. Gosh, it is really, really is dark. It, Sorry about this, everybody. Is it um, that's better. That's up. Ah, that's, God, if we come around here. That's it. 
Okay. It's so simple. I have it on my phone, as you see, but you actually say how many people. Now, I... I order HelloFresh for two people all the time because I'll have Anna over or Philippe comes over or Joss Van Tyler, the actor of the road, comes over. I just say, come and have supper. And um, it's so quick because like Anna, I cannot bear waste. I hate cooking. I hate spending hours over something that I'm just gonna eat. So, HelloFresh, I order the quick ones. This is actually a family one as well. Um, it's so quick, it tells you on there exactly how long it's gonna be. So we are gonna have, Anna, do you want to read that out? Oh gosh, teriyaki sesame chicken with tender stem and uh, basmati rice. There you go, so that's what we're gonna have. Um, and Anna and I do, occasionally eat meat and if we do it's chicken so that's why i thought that's all right lovely interested. amazing um and it gives you and what on the back because you know i only have two saucepans and a frying pan it actually says exactly what you need and everything so i've got it ready for you um for you you won't have to cook it if you <laughs> want to um just i'll just show you here um because we could have had these two there's a choice of those but I want this one. I think this is nice, Anna, because yeah. it's chicken. So that's that, and the chicken's in the fridge. I'll get the chicken out. The saucepans, they tell you everything you need. And the best bit, Anna. What's that, Jo? It takes 20 minutes, and then it's done. It's perfect, isn't it? There's and nothing it's worse no. than just standing around cooking exactly. for hours. Exactly. What a waste of time. I so agree with Jo. In fact, Jo isn't unusual having two saucepans and a frying pan, because guess what? That's all I've got as well. <laughs> That's all we have, babe. That's all you need, truly, because you can yes. just double up. So, um, can I just say, we're going to cook this very, very quickly so we can get on with um, at Myrtle's training. But can I just say that... There is, um, the time to buy HelloFresh is when there's offers. So if you use my code, Middle Age Minx, there is 50% off your first box, 35% off your next three boxes, Anna. And they send little gifts. Do they? Yeah, so what you get, well, I got a, a lovely orange drink in this box. Nice. So use the code. But anyway, should we get cooking? Yes, we're gonna Do get it. cooking. Come on. So, oh my goodness. Anna, yes, can you bring in the card and we can do a comparison? Yeah. These are, of course, my damask green napkins. I, this, I mean, my mouth, the smell of this is wonderful. So if we put that up behind, I think you'll agree, <laughs> we've done pretty well. And do you know what I'm amazed about is the rice. <laughs> I've never ever managed to cook rice and the, the secret is you just don't think about it. You just don't even measure anything. They just said boil the kettle, put it in the pan uh -huh. and there it is. Look at that. Looks oh so my gosh, it's, look, this is the perfect, the perfect quick supper for a winter's evening if you've got a mate round. What's it like? Amazing. Is Marvellous. It? Is Marvellous. It? Mm. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Myrtle. One year old today. And look, you've got a card from your breeder and a card from your cousin, Flora. You're a very lucky girl because there's two presents for you as well. Mert. Mert. Two presents. Yes. Good morning, everybody. I wasn't actually going to vlog today because I'm having a 
give Joe's face a rest day from makeup, but I put a little bit of lippy on. But it is Myrtle's birthday, and also there's been a very exciting delivery, um, which I don't think is for Myrtle's birthday, but it's arrived on the same day, which is lovely. Gosh, I'll close this window because there's a lot of traffic. In fact, I'm going to put you here, put you there, close the window. There we are. So, yes, uh, her birthday, and I know this is her present from me, which is a yak chew. She loves, this is like giving myrtle cocaine. She loves, it's made from yak milk, and um, if I hold it here long enough, you'll see that she can smell it, and it also cleans her teeth. So, um, you're going to sit nicely for everyone. Should we get back on the chair and then, which chair's in vision? Come on here and everyone can see you sit. Sit. There's your birthday present. Happy birthday. She takes it over to the sofa. <laughs> but, look what else arrived. <gasps> oh, flowers. More flowers. I'm turning into one of those really annoying bloggers who just says, look what I receive every day. I don't receive flowers every day. These could be for Myrtle. Let me just see. Oh, there's two other things I want to show you. So, yes, should we move the cameras round so everyone can see you because it's your birthday as well, Mert. Should we move it round? Everyone can... Here yeah, you're gnawing on your yak stick. Right, oh, you, I'll give you your second present, actually. This was left for you, Myrtle, at the little hairdressers I go to on Paddington Street, um, where they blow dry my hair if I'm in a hurry and I need to film and I've got dreadful hair. He said to me, Joe, this lovely lady, one of you, dropped this in because she knew it was Myrtle's first birthday and it's from Cologne and Cotton um, which is a lovely bedding company so Myrtle this is for you this is for you let's see what this oh look look Mert Mert look A knitted myrtle. That's more like a knitted Matilda, which it means a lot to me, actually. How lovely. Look at the detail on that. Oh, thank you. And has a red collar with a bow. Oh, sorry, don't make me jump. Like Mert. There, Mert. There's your second birthday present. <laughs> oh, that's not very nice, is it? Sniffing the butt. The butt. Right. So... These are from Jane Packer. Wow. Annoyingly, I'm going to open the card first. I'm sorry that table's in the background with all my junk on. I can do nothing about it. I'm in rented accommodation. I would get rid of that table, but it came with the flat. So, uh, very nice card. Thank you from Amar Alex. Thank you from everyone at MTHK. Oh my goodness. Survival tips for your flowers. How clever is that? Look at that. MTHK is the company I collaborate with who do the eye drops um, with the Moorfield um, eye specialists. Dr. or Mr. Alex. Um, the eye specialist who was on my blog, I think two blogs ago, many of you said how much you fancied him actually. He is very attractive. Um, they are the loveliest company, MTHK Eye Drops, you know I work with them. I, I, I used their eye drops long before they offered to work with me. And I just think that's when um, collaborations work because they benefit and I benefit because I was using them anyway. So this is incredibly generous of them. I don't even know how to get into this. Gosh, this is, I've never received a box like this with flowers. Look, Mert. Oh, 
Oh my gosh. You're not going to believe this. If I'm, oh, I want to get this out and out. How am I going to get this out and out? Oh my gosh, this is art. This is art. Oh, right, time lapse. the thumbnail oh my gosh MTHK thank you how special is that if this is the thumbnail I really should have put some eye makeup on wow oh my gosh they're beautiful and I get to keep this little basket to put all my makeup in in the bathroom which I desperately need well that is amazing so uh, I can put it on this furniture because it's um, quite clean, if you get my meaning. Oh, I want to put it somewhere. Oh, I'll do that. I'll put it here so you can see it at the moment. Myrtle won't eat it. And that's the card. Mert! Dear, your react stick. Right. Now, this is another delivery I had. This is not a collaboration. Um, this is a gift, but this is from a very clever PR who happens to be a personal friend of mine, Kelly from Pure PR. She's been on um, she's been on my show quite a few times because she's been here. She's a friend, but she's a very clever PR. She's on it. Do you know what I mean? And um, she sent me this. So let's first of all show you the package. I move these, and then you can have a look properly. So. Keep little Myrtle out of the way. This is what I received in the post from Kelly. As you can see, these are all e.l.f. eyebrow products. Not a collaboration, no expectation to film this at all. But this is what Kelly wrote. Dear Jo, Nigella Lawson recently popped out of the kitchen to write about her favourite three pound brow product that she can't live without. So it got me thinking more about our client Elf and their budget buys that midlifers like us need to know about. Well, she's a midlifer, I'm a end of lifer. Well, no, probably not. Two thirds of a lifer. Um, she says, every single one here is under £10. Every single one of these items is under £10 and could make a great budget swap for any of your more pricey buys. Elf has products blowing up all over TikTok and selling out in stores. They win awards for their prestige-inspired formulas. It is the only colour cosmetics brand in the UK which has been constantly growing over the past nine quarters. And they're the first beauty brand to work with a fair trade factory, in addition to having always been vegan and cruelty-free. I think they're elfing amazing. And I hope you enjoy them. P.S. Nigella's... Um, best uh, elf product is the instant lift brow pencil oh my gosh so whatever is good for nigella is good for joe put you up here let me see if i can find the instant lift brow pencil so what is that then that is oh the instant lift brow pencil but i've also got the wow brow all of these every single one of them there's um the brow shader. This is uh, the ultra precise brow pencil. Elf uh, putty bronzer. And this is the Elf no budge shadow stick. So those are for the eyes and these are for the eyebrows. But this is no budge, oh this is another shadow stick. But I'm gonna try this. As Nigella uses it, I am going to use it. Have I done my brows today? No, I haven't really done anything today. So, let me get into this. As I say, there was no expectation for me to film this. She knows I'm always going on about the Yves Saint Laurent brow pencil that I use. Number one, I think it is in gray. It costs a lot more than these. 
So, oh look. So that winds up. I need to get my mirror. Stay with me everybody, just watch Myrtle. So, I'm going to do a, I mean mind you, Nigella's dark. She's got wonderful brows. I'm going to do this. What I love is the word fast because mine do fade. These are the stay fast, instant, did I say? Gosh, it's very smooth. It's not pulling on my eyes at all. What did I say it was called? Instant lift brow pencil. So that's one end. I have a feeling, yes there is. There's a twizzle at the other. Actually, that is quite a nice colour for me. Actually, I really... I mean, I've got no makeup on, everybody, but that is rather nice. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you, anonymous subscriber. Thank you, MTHK. Oh my gosh. And thank you, Myrtle, just for being Myrtle. And look at the mess she's made on this sofa. We're taking this away now. No more. You have the rest tomorrow, otherwise she's completely obsessed. Oh goodness me, goodness me. Oh gosh, you have no idea what I am trying to do. So let me just tell you, this is this is the part of vlogging that you never see. In fact, I will be honest, I never ever use lights. Um, I, or, I only ever use daylight. I don't use ring lights, but I'm having to tonight because I am doing a really, really important, not important, well yes important, but much awaited interview with pretty over 50, Kimberly. Now many of you who are following me today will have got here because of Kimberly. Kimberly is an American YouTuber who has a quarter of a million subscribers and who just started following me and talked about me and I suddenly acquired thousands of subscribers that, and I couldn't work out where and from America um, and it's down to Kimberly. Now she did a Q&A with me probably about six months ago and um, this is my turn, my turn to ask her questions. She's far more private than I am. So I don't want to overstep the mark. Um, I am quite nervous about it. But what I'm nervous about is um, so that we can do it, because I have to go into work, she, um, so we're doing, it's seven o'clock, it, well it's actually six o'clock now. We are recording it at seven o'clock. Look at the sky, well it looks light on here. That's Marylebone, but it's not light. So you know I always shoot this way because I get the the daylight. That's how I usually film. Um, but I'm gonna have that backdrop of London at night behind me. So I'm going to be shooting this way um, on here, on Zoom, obviously. And uh, just where I'm gonna put, so that I will be on Zoom there and I'm going to put my camera here, I think, that needs to go higher up, so that I can do cutaways, gosh. Anyway, listen, um, I'm gonna stop vlogging now because I need to crack on and sort this out. Um, it, I think we're posting it on the first week of November, so that's if it goes well. I mean, it, Kimberly will be brilliant, it's up to me. I'll leave the link to her channel below. Um, and yes, I think we're posting it on the, I think the 9th of November, but I will check that. Anyway, press on with this setup. Wish me luck. When you see this go out, you'll know this is gonna be dark behind me in an hour. Um, so I have got 40 minutes to sort this out. Bye. 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 Oh my gosh, let me just show you my producer. This is my producer tonight. 
You haven't seen her on the vlog before. I don't think you've seen her. Hello. This is Teodora. It was a good show, wasn't it? It was brilliant. It's a really good show. If you look at my Instagram, you'll actually see Teodora filmed the Jive Aces, the band in the studio. So and you'll they actually. They were amazing. See... Yeah, they were amazing. Right, I'm off. I'm um, off too. You off. See you next week. See you. See you, Teodora. Bye. Right. Well, where's Dave? There he is. It's like a summer's evening. Oh! He's woken up the whole of Fitzrovia. I'm blocking the whole road with the door you, open. You've horned your horn. I know. Oh, oh my oh, God. Wake up the neighborhood. Oh. There's people in those luxury flats. Oh, how dare those damn BBC. It's so, yes, it's a hooligans from the BBC. Yeah. It's so warm. Oh, this, is that the famous girl with the pink hair? That's Teodora. Oh, yes. That's Teodora, yes. I'm going for my taxi. Oh, oh no. I've heard Where is your, your pink hair? I know, this is very famous Dave the Cabbie. <laughs> oh, hi there. I'm really pleased to meet you. I'm available for, I'm available for all pantomimes. Yeah, he is. It's your, it's My your... boyfriend actually does a pantomime show. Hold on, can I put you in touch? Well, I'm, really, I'm not even joking, I'm actually, because I know all he's, offers. <laughs> he's always looking for staff, so there you go. Oh, well, yeah. Good Lord, this has turned my, into a casting session. This is my Joe, by the way. Yeah, exactly. not my agent. <laughs> Listen, Teodora, is your cab here? Yes, it's just there. Oh, that's all right. I didn't want to leave you in the street. Okay, well, we've got you an acting job, oh, Dave. Wonderful. Yeah. See you, hon. See you. Bye. It's so warm. God, do you want to be in a pantomime? Well, I'm, I'm, listen, I'm bored, bored out of my mind. I'll, I'll do anything. <laughs> How that, can that you? Weird. That, was, that was weird. Was it, she was serious. You know, she was serious, but I think it's an amateur production. Well, can you imagine it? I'll be doing Pirates of Penzance in, 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 show, in, in Catford or something. You'll be doing Pirates of Penzance. I'll be doing Mother Goose in like, Catford. Sitting, sitting board. Playing the rear end of the cow, probably. <laughs> not for, that there is one not in. for the first time. <laughs> Gosh, I'm gonna to have to edit that out. No, I keep it all in. No, I keep it all in. Listen, it's so warm. It was 70 degrees today. Did you know that? No, I'm full. I'm, 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 I'm wearing my jacket. I'm thinking I'm in winter mode, and I've got the heating on and everything. And it's like it's like it's like June, isn't it? Well, look at me. I'm in an Afghan, a bright green Afghan coat, and I'm absolutely baking. Yeah, anyway, what a week, eh, Dave? Oh my God. I spent an hour in Battersea Park sleeping. Oh, I love Battersea Park. I used to visit a monkey there in the zoo. Battersea Park Zoo is one of the best zoos ever if you've got children. You know, there's any park that's open all the time. You can go there now, it's still open. All the gates are still open. You know, all Hyde Park, Regent Park, all those parks, they all close. Yes. Battersea Park never closes. And it's got gates, hasn't it? It's got gates, yeah, but they're always open. So I you didn't know that. Now and, yeah, it's lovely. I truly didn't know that. Right, everybody, we're going to finish the vlog here. So, what have I got to tell you? Don't forget, if you use my code, you get 50% off your first HelloFresh order. HelloFresh is a god. Have you ever used HelloFresh, Dave? Uh, what is that? Is that orange juice? No, it's um, a subscription food delivery service. Oh, no, no, I haven't. No. Oh, gosh. If you live on your own, Dave, it's a blessing. Anyway, I'll leave all the links to HelloFresh below. Um, and yes, um, pretty over 50. We're just editing the interview. We're not cutting things out, we're just gluing it together. Um, it was so exciting. It went really well. And um, I'll leave the link to Pretty Over 50 um, below. And I'll let you know when that interview goes out. Please subscribe. Oh, I love it when we stop at the traffic lights because pink is very flattering. Please, please subscribe. And I will see you next Sunday at 10. Say goodbye, Dave. Bye. Bye. Quickly, it? it does. Five minutes ago, I was saying goodbye last week. Oh, we're on green. Goodbye.